Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, the voice of hardcore boxing fans. Frank Warren's phoned Eddie Hearn up. Left a message, Eddie's phoned him back, we're going to meet after I've had an holiday. Eddie needs an holiday after doing four shows on trot. Well done Eddie Hearn. But now you've got Frank and Dylan White going back and forward on Twitter, hammering each other. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that they're going to work together. I think that Eddie Hearn doesn't want to. He wants to be top dog, but I do know this, and I've been saying it for a long, long time. Tyson Fury and Joshua's not going to happen. That won't happen. Do you know why? They want to keep Joshua away from anybody dangerous. That's what they want to do. Look how he fought Andy Ruiz in Saudi. He fought like he was scared to death, petrified of a 20 stone fat man petrified so Joshua is not going to fight anybody dangerous he's fighting Pulef next Pulef's 40 in May 40 in May is an old man Vladimir was 41 in his 42nd year these are old men they're going to try and sell Joshua and Pulef it's shocking he should be fighting Tyson Fury Throw the belts in the bin. Why pay sanctioning fees from the biggest fight of your life? You've already world champions and got belts. Belts don't keep your families, generations to come, do they? It's money what does it. So throw the belts and let others fight for them. But Eddie Hearn's not going to put Joshua near Tyson Fury. He might do a couple of fights, you know, Boatsy Yard, because where, where's Boatsy going, really? Where is he heading him? He can fight for fun. World class, but where's he heading? Yard's already been tested, he nearly pulled it off, so you've got to give Anthony Yard respect. I've got Yard to knock him out, Boatsy, if that happens, but this Cold War's killing the sport, and like I've just said in an earlier video, promoters are killing the sport, not the fighters, they all want to fight. It's the bullshit around it, that's what. That's the problem, but Frank Warren's reached out to Eddie Hearn, so it's up to Eddie Hearn now, isn't it, but already you've got you know, whiskey nose Barry Barry Hearn, buzzing bars. Already buzzing bars has thrown a spanner in works, hasn't he? Look, they don't want it, they want to milk it. They did it with Chris Eubank for years on a smaller scale compared to Joshua. And when Eubank actually stepped up and got his first defeat, he ended up with five defeats in his career. And they were all on Frank Warren shows. So Frank's ready and ready to pounce. Is Eddie ready? Does Eddie care for fans? No. But why is he saying he wants to work with Frank? Look, he's just going to pay lip service to keep his scent looking well in front of fans. They don't want to work with Frank Warren. They don't want to do it. They don't want to give him a leg up. But don't, I don't think Frank leads in that leg up now, does he? If Joshua retires, who's Eddie Hearn got? Dylan White's finished. He's finished. He'll, he'll never win a world title. He's gone. He's gone at game. Found out. Now, but he's done well. He's had five pay-per-views and he'll give a six. But he, he's not going to win a world title, so how are they going to keep selling all these... What, are they going to keep polishing turds up? Is that what we're going to have? Polishing turds. Joshua's last performance in Saudi was shocking. All them millions look frightened to death. Frightened to death. Dylan White's last performance, last two performances, shocking. So who's the next pay-per-view for a match them? Frank Scott, Tyson Fury, Joe Joyce and DeBar. DeBar will rule for ten years when time's right. But it is what it isn't, so that's my opinion. I don't think they're going to work together. They've done three fights in ten years. So they're hardly going to do a list of ten that Frank's put out. But Frank's made his send look good with fans. I'm not a fan of him already, and to be honest, but I think Frank's a better boxing man. But it is what it isn't. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Eddie, you got a problem? Come see me. <laughs>